Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So uh, I don't really have much to talk about in this video, so it's going to be kind of aimless. But uh, I would like to thank you guys for the support in my latest video. Now I was kind of expecting it to do a little bit better than what I usually upload, considering that that content only gets like two views or something, uh, apart from the views my friends give it. So, but but I really wasn't expecting to get almost 1.5k views or whatever. Like I gained so many subs, so many likes, just did so much better than I could have ever expected, especially as a tiny little YouTuber. And I just have to thank you guys. Also, we reached 69 subscribers, so that's a, a very mature meme, Would you know, and you should laugh. I'm not sure if I should do anything special for 69 subs. Uh, I don't know if you, any of you guys have some ideas as to what I could do. That could be fun. Let me just focus here. Goodbye. 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 I've just not had to try this game. It's the recording lock. Like whenever you're recording, like everything's super easy. Okay, so I know it's kind of cliche to start every video by <laughs> apologizing for not having uploaded in a long time, but truly, it, it is the case. I mean, if I want to be an even bigger nerd than Technolate, it stands to reason that I should have an equally terrible upload schedule if I want to be on, on his level. And that's exactly what I've, what I've been doing. Okay, so... Basically, the reason why I haven't uploaded as much as I want to is because I'm lazy. First of all, that's a big win, being lazy. Uh, but also, whenever I try to record, something seems to go wrong. Like, I'm either getting really mad at the game, which I, I imagine nobody wants to watch. Uh, just me calling people horrible names because they combo me. Okay, I'm not that bad, but in general, I, I do get pretty upset sometimes. And since nobody wants to watch that, or nobody wants to watch the videos in which uh, I try to record, but it doesn't work out for some reason. Oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm de I'm so dead. How does this guy keep hitting me? Okay, come here. Come here, buddy. But yeah, there, there have been several times where I, I try to go and record, especially with friends, and it just goes terribly. That was a terrible mistake. <laughs> that guy destroyed me the whole fight and then he's like, Oh, better jump in a hole with Xenovox. Yeah, twice it has happened where I've recorded with friends and then I look back and either I, I didn't hit or the record button didn't work or um, my audio was literal ear rape because I'm too stupid to check it beforehand. And so I couldn't upload any of that. But I, I, I'm finally... <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Um, I'm finally doing a video right now, so please stop annoying me. I don't know, nobody's annoying me. There you are, buddy. That took long enough. Wait, don't grab onto the water. Yay! So I guess I might as well tell you guys a little story. So before the pandemic happened, I was uh, taking driving lessons. But before they actually let you drive, you have to learn the basic rules. So that's all I was doing uh, before it happened. And then um, one day I'm chilling, not having gone to the to the class for like two or three months. And I get a call and it's my instructor. And he's like, yo, when have I, you know, I have a class tomorrow. But I really wasn't expecting it. And but sure enough, next day I go over there and I have my first lesson with, with an actual car. Well, that was quite cool. And what really surprised me was that I was expecting that if you have a one pound machine made entirely out of steel and you're going to give it to an 18 year old with <laughs> no freaking practice, it seems logical to me that you'd, uh, you know, put him driving in a parking lot or uh, just a place where there's no no risk for anybody involved. 
And I get to the lesson and the instructor's like, okay, drive. I mean, it wasn't quite like that. He taught me the how to handle the car somewhat be, uh, beforehand. But really, at, at a certain point, he just turns to me and says, okay, so we're going to uh, drive up over there. And I'm really confused. So I start driving and... It's not like it's a very friendly road to for your first lesson because there are cars whizzing by, there's intersections, there's a lot of stuff going on and as you can imagine I am somewhat stressed out. I know there's uh, my, the instructor next to me and he can slam the brakes at any moment but still it's, it's really scary <laughs> and the first thing I notice is how freaking sensitive the car is. Like, you'd expect this massive machine to need a little bit of legwork in order to, to move and do what you want. But actually, like, you, you you have to apply such minute amounts of pressure with everything you do that it's really confusing for a first-time driver, especially because I had experience with video games, and in video games you just slam the, the, the pedal, and that's how you get stuff done. But, you know, so so he's like, oh, you're going to speed up a little bit. And I press the accelerator and the car makes a whole load of noise, starts going really quickly. So I immediately drop it. And he's like, no, just a little bit. And I'm like, oh, OK, <laughs> that's uh, that's cool. And same thing with the brakes. He's like, oh, just a nice, uh, just a nice tap on the brakes. Just ever so slightly push them. And I do just that. I I press them very slightly and uh, the car slams to a halt and I fly out of the windshield you know I uh, I fly 30 feet 30 feet in front of the car and I slam my face against the pavement okay maybe maybe not that much but the point being that it's really freaking sensitive and I was not expecting it It's been a few months since my first lesson and I've got to say I've gotten the hang of it and I've even started enjoying it quite a bit uh, because my life isn't very interesting like I, I don't do much uh, I don't talk to people or I generally don't put myself in stressful situations so it's kind of nice to every once in a while just have a, a task which requires a little bit more of your focus and this man is cheating Oh, well, that was just a rubber band. But you know, I can see myself when I learn how to drive properly and I get my license. I can I can see myself going for uh, long drives and just chilling while listening to a podcast or something. Because here's the thing. Um, podcasts are that thing where they don't take up enough of your attention where you can just listen to a podcast. You have to do something else like doing dishes or the laundry. I was way too quick. Okay, anyway, you can do dishes or the laundry or anything. Uh, basically, the way I see it is that, like, attention is a, a bar that you have to fill and, like, different activities fill it differently. And for different people, it changes as well. So whereas I can read and listen to music for a lot of people, that's really hard to imagine. But I think driving is that thing where it perfectly fills your attention bar, let's say, so that you can do all sorts of other activities like listening to podcasts and kill steel. There you go. Give you a nice little boost off the map. Anyways, I've ran, run out of things to talk about, and uh, also I started, I, I noticed mid-recording that I'm uh, <laughs> that I'm recording in 60, and my last video was about how to record in 240, so that's really cool. Um, so is that. Oh, is he gonna, he's not gonna clutch it, poor thing.
Anyways, that was another episode of Skywars and I'm invisible. How about that? Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, whatever. And uh, yeah, see you later. Why am I invisible? That's so stupid. Okay. <laughs>